and you can actually see the difference in these birds from that have been in captivity, that have been depressed and frustrated, and now these new animals, they're just something else. And that's the next. So we're hoping to release up to 50 to 100 birds in his litre, and then we're either, depending on how it works, we're going to start spreading them up the coast, or we're just going to keep releasing in his litre, and they will just disperse naturally. They'll, they'll find their own way. Yeah. Enormous. Now this is little baby Jane. Baby Jane here was raised by us this season. She's only 90 days old. We've had babies that we've brought out from the nursery Day fly one. from here to the end of the property. Like fly like, fly, not just like, oh my god, I'm going to die. Like so the actual release process takes around a year. So between raising them here to the transport is usually about a year and a half. So we have to, it took us eight years to raise 40 greens for release. And what we do is, at our release sites we have a biologist and part of their job is to go around the community, go into the indigenous populations in the area and talk to them. This is a country that runs on ecotourism as well, so if you explain to these people, you're going to get tourists who spend lots of money if you have something they can look at that's wild and, and in a tree. Now we're sustainable. They're much happy. Right. Yeah, they're, yeah. It's the thing about you have to give them something that makes them money, otherwise they a corridor idea where we want to reintroduce the Pacific Corridor of the Scarlet Mountain. So we're hoping to do sort of a tourism education centre at each of our release sites. So in Islita, and, here as, well. and here as well. So we want to offer a tour where people can see the birds flying around, they can see a bit of the process behind how those birds got there, where they've come from, the whole idea of the project, the future, and then they can actually see the birds up close and in real life flying around and free. Permanent staff in the wrong side. Because if I leave or go anywhere, Jenny's here on her own, and I, it's not safe. I mean, we've got the dogs and everything, but Jenny's out there will be safe. And there's leeches going to be as safe as houses. But here at night, like for example last night when someone cut a hole and broke in, I mean, Jen can't go out and, and go out and shit. Uh, we had a lady that emailed us recently, and she was telling her grandmother would tell stories of a red cloud 